Hey guys, Steve from Cali Performance. You guys have asked uh, a lot of questions on how to do cam timing. Uh, today's video, we're gonna do cam timing on a 12F motor. This uh, process will apply to all the newer stuff as well. So that's uh, 15F, LX, 250, 260, 300, 310. As far as tools you guys are gonna need for this, um, a basic socket set, um, Nothing really specialty, you're gonna need an inch pound torque wrench. So here's our basic tools here. Inch pound torque wrench, we got a brand new cam chain OEM. Uh, we have our cam chain tensioner here. We have our cam, cam, cam cap bolts. We have our cams, we have our cam cap, and we have our guides with the um, timing bolts here. So first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the chain in first and we're gonna hang it on a cam. So I'm gonna do that right now. So you're gonna fit the cam around the sprocket like this, and you're gonna hang the chain like this, and we're gonna grab any cam, and we're gonna slip it underneath here. Hopefully I'm not in the way just like that. And we're gonna give it a pull to this side. So you can see that there's no slack on this side. So that means we can install the, um, the exhaust side guide. So the exhaust side guide is gonna be this one here. Okay. And we're gonna install that just like this. Okay, you can hold that in place that gets this standoff bolt here, which goes in the bottom. Okay, we're gonna use our impact driver just to make things a little quicker here. And then today um, we're gonna use the KP 17.4 uh, pH uh, cam guide bolt, which is gonna go up here. Okay, and our bolt is a 12 millimeter socket instead of the number six Allen key, which Kawasaki uses, which likes to strip. Okay, so we have our first cam guide in here, and now we're gonna move this cam to the other side, and you're gonna pull the chain all the way to this side to make sure there's no slack in it here. Then we're gonna grab our guide, which installs just like this. This is our intake guide, and you're gonna use the corresponding hex bolt. It's a 10 millimeter hex with a little standoff on it, and this, a standoff uh, does move freely on here, so be careful you don't drop this. So we're gonna install this guide just like this. Okay, now we have our guide in here. Now the next step is the timing rotor. So there's a couple different versions of the timing rotor. You have this version, you have a, a similar looking um, internal design with many more spokes, which will be used on like 250, 260, uh, a lot of the 15F and LX, that's the, the newer stuff. Uh, this will be on the older stuff. And then 300, 310, is a splined internal with, um, with a lot more spokes on the outside. So either way, all the timing rotors have the same identifying marks on it, which is a little line right here on the timing rotor, which is gonna get matched up with the case half here. So I'm gonna install this now, and we're going to uh, set this rotor.
Now on this machine, it's gonna be a 12 millimeter hex bolt with a stainless steel washer. On the 300 and 310, it's gonna be a black 17 millimeter hex bolt. Regardless, the process is the same. So we have our timing rotor installed. Uh, when you install it as such, it can be in any position. So what we want to do is we want to align this uh, little line on here with the separation on the cases. So I'm going to use my 12 millimeter, uh, ratchet, um, 12 millimeter socket here, and we're going to move the engine until we get that hash mark on the separation of the cases. So I'm going to come on this side. So you can see. I'd say that's pretty close. So the hash mark is literally in line with the separation of cases on this side, only on this side. So now for the cams. So this is the intake cam, which is gonna go on this side. And we're just gonna loosely put this in here. And here is our exhaust cam. And you can tell the exhaust cam because it has this um, rotor assembly on the back of the cam. So this is always gonna be your exhaust on all models. So we're gonna install this roughly as well. Okay, good. Okay, so now the most difficult part of the entire process is this. So we have to time the crankshaft with the cams. This is something that a lot of you guys struggle with. Uh, hopefully this is gonna help clear things up a bit. So on the cams, if you look at them directly, some of them are gonna say in exhaust, on both of them, in exhaust, in exhaust, or they're gonna have a single dot and a double dot. So single dot, double dot, single dot, double dot. So your, your intake side, so your, your single dot or your in on the intake cam is gonna match up with the deck of the cylinder head here. So I'm gonna, sh I'm gonna do that here. This one has an in X. It doesn't have a, a single dot, double dot. So if you do have a single dot, double dot, it's exactly the same. So just follow this sequence. So we have in on here. We're gonna go up one more notch here and we're gonna give it a good pull. So if you can see this, we have in pretty much just about matched up with this deck here, okay? And now we have our exhaust here. So if you pull on it to get slack off the chain, the exhaust is kind of sitting up over here a little bit. So we're gonna go another notch down. So I say that looks pretty perfect here. So we have our, our single notch here with the case half. We have our in or our single dot, and we have our exhaust or our double dot over here. So don't make the mistake where you're looking on this side and lining things up. It's always a single dot or an in here or a double dot or an exhaust here. Now we're gonna install our cam tensioner. So remove the, uh, the hex nut that's on here. It's a 12 millimeter hex. It has an aluminum washer. It has a spring and a pin. So make sure you pull all this stuff off and make sure you don't lose it. If anything is missing, you will need to replace it. So when you get this, this uh, chain tensioner, it might be extended like this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this in a little bit here and you're gonna fully revert that back to zero. Okay, and now, so just so I can open this up and show you guys. So see how it has this little notch here? This is gonna face down. So we're gonna push this back in here. We're gonna push this in here, facing
Okay, so we, we tightened everything down loosely here, besides these two here. I don't know if you guys can get that angle. These two are staying loose. Um, Kawasaki wants you to move in a, in a order like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I uh, definitely, you can follow that. Uh, but what we're gonna do here, um, which you can follow as well, is we're gonna move from the front all the way to the back and then check everything. So I'm gonna start here, still leaving these two loose, and we're gonna move all the way back. Okay, everything's tight, but these two, now we're gonna torque all these bolts. Everything on the top here and on here besides the center is gonna be 106 inch pounds. So I think we have that set here. Yep, so we're gonna torque everything here. Okay, everything's torqued up here besides these two bolts. Uh, we're gonna torque these two tens here. Same, same. We have this one down here. Be very careful with these two down here because they can break, so just feel for it. Okay, good. This one here. Look on this side so you guys can see this. Okay, good. And this one here, I think it's supposed to be 12 foot pounds. I'm just gonna do that one by hand. It's gonna be a little bit tighter, but uh, it will not come off. Good, perfect. Okay, so now we have our final uh, cam tensioner uh, bolt here. So as you can see, everything still looks good. We have our in, our exhaust, and we're at our timing notch there. So now we're going to install the final piece of the puzzle. Okay, loosely put that in. And we're gonna tighten this up. I believe this also gets tightened to 12 foot pounds, so we're gonna snug this as well. It's definitely a little bit more, but it's good. Okay, everything is good here. Now I'm gonna move to this side and we're gonna rotate the motor. And you're gonna hear a little bit of clicking. That means the cam uh, guide, uh, the tensioner, the cam tensioner is moving outward, putting pressure on the chain. There we go. You could rotate it a couple times. Okay, now we're gonna get back over here where we put the notch at the case halves here. Right there. Okay, we gotta go 180 degrees more. Okay, and we're here. Okay, so now we're at the proper mark here. Uh, case half and if you see uh, an upside down exhaust or an upside down intake and, and everything looks a little weird just do another rotation because for every rotation um, for every uh, rotation of the crank you get a half a rotation up here so it might be 180 degrees out so just go one more rotation and you'll swing back to your position before so now we want to make sure that what we did is correct so we have our notch here we have our in here we have our exhaust here, and everything looks like it's pretty lined up with the deck. 
Um, looks pretty perfect. Uh, nothing's going to be exact. It's not going to be exactly in line, but it's going to be very, very close. It's either going to be very close or it's going to be very far. So just make sure it looks just like this. So on all, all the newer stuff, which, uh, which is a double dot uh, and a single dot cam, so you're going to have your single dot here and your double dot here. Okay, so it's exactly the same. Um, the last piece of this uh, setup is to tighten and torque these two bolts here, and we can do that now. Okay. I would recommend definitely double and triple checking to make sure you torqued everything properly. Go over everything. Um, as far as this bolt here, which we did not torque in this video, um, it's a little more difficult. We like to put red Loctite on it and also gets 12 foot pounds. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I um, hope uh, it answered a lot of questions you guys might have. Um, any questions or comments, please email us, um, info at cowieperformance.com. You can chat with us, like us on Facebook, and uh, if you guys got any further questions, uh, definitely reach out.